Hello everyone and welcome back to Unforgotten Tech. My name is Gregory Krause and today we're going to be talking about drive belts. We're going to be talking about what a drive belt is, how they work, why we need them, how to inspect them, and last we're going to be going over how to replace a drive belt on a vehicle. Now before we get started be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to get involved in the conversation please leave a comment below. A drive belt or serpentine belt is located under the hood of a car and it snakes its way between various pulleys and accessories. This type of drive belt is normally found on cars produced after 1990. It tends to last longer than other types of drive belts and it's easier to install and remove. Drive belts transmit power between a car's air conditioning compressor, water pump, alternator, and power steering pump. A drive belt is not to be confused with a timing belt, which runs between the camshaft and crankshaft. To tell the difference, drive belts are generally found outside the engine, while timing belts are found behind a timing belt cover. Over time, drive belts will wear out and need to be replaced. Most vehicles require a new drive belt between about 50 and 100,000 miles. However, you should consult the manufacturer's recommendations on when to change them. Sometimes a drive belt can be determined to be changed by a visual inspection. When inspecting a drive belt, you should look for cracks, fraying, or splits on the top cover. Also look for signs of glazing on the belt's sides. By twisting a drive belt, you can look for separations, layers, cracks, or missing chunks of the grooves of the underside. If a belt passes a visual inspection and is not needing to be replaced, we may need to test the drive belt tensioner. We can test this by twisting the drive belt at its widest span at the center of the span. You'll know you have the right amount of tension if you can twist the belt approximately a half turn. If you can twist it more than a half a turn, you do not have enough tension. And if you cannot twist it half a turn, then you have too much tension. This is a sign that a drive belt tensioner may need to be adjusted. Vehicles with automatic tensioners cannot be adjusted and will need to be replaced due to being worn out or damaged. If a drive belt is worn or failing, a vehicle may be disabled and show the following symptoms. Start to make a squealing noise from the front of the vehicle, the battery may not charge, power steering will stop working, and the air conditioning may stop working as well. In some instances, the vehicle may start to overheat. All right, now that we know what a drive belt is, how to inspect them, what they do, and ultimately what will happen if they fail, let's go ahead and get on a vehicle and replace one ourselves. PPE needed for the job will be safety glasses and clothed toe shoes. For tools and equipment, we're gonna need a 3 8 socket set. And of course, we'll need a brand new drive belt to replace the old one with. The first step in replacing a drive belt is to note down the routing guide of the belt. We can do this by drawing a picture of it. We can download the routing guide off the internet, or we can take our cell phone out and just take a picture of it. The next step is we're going to loosen the three bolts on the alternator. That way we can loosen the drive belt. We'll now match the drive belts and confirm that we have the proper size drive belt. Then we will reroute the drive belt onto the proper pulleys, making sure they're in their proper place. And then we will slip on the drive belt. Last, we will check the tension and start the motor and make sure the belt is running in its intended method. Fantastic. Just to recap, today we learned about drive belts. We learned what they were, what they do, what could happen if they fail, and finally, we replaced one on this vehicle. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in to Unforgotten Tech, and we look forward to seeing you next time.